everybody, my name is Northbound, and welcome back to our playthrough of Niche, a genetic survival game. Now, the last time that we played, we moved our entire little family over to a new island, and we had the birth of Elekid here. And he is the only one of our creatures currently who has the ill-fated home island immunity gene which we have desperately needed in this tribe for quite a while now. So with Elekid as our heir, I was thinking that we would finally do something special for him because, you know, his father before him, Steve, had the home island immunity and we didn't really give him a place of, you know, of status. I didn't really think about doing anything special for the members of the tribe who carry this home island immunity gene like Adam did before them. So for this generation, we're going to change around some gem colors. So we have the ability to change the gem colors. And I think for Elekid, and I think for the, the general line of our alpha creatures, we are going to put them as red gems. And in fact, I'm, I'm also going to change the animal rank. I'm going to change the animal rank. I'm, I've never really used this system before. So I'm thinking that, you know, we're going to make it special. So Elekid is, is now the alpha of the whole tribe. So that means he's going to get to eat first, especially when uh, we're low on food, which I'm hoping will never be. But whenever we're low on food, it means that Elekid will basically get to eat first and whoever is ranked Omega in the tribe, there are none, there are no Omegas, but whoever would be ranked Omega in the tribe would eat last. So because everybody has used up their energy for the day already, because of, you know, when I started the game, um, we are going to skip our day and move onwards. We have tons of food to collect, which is amazing. It's always good. Um... So we're going to have tons of food to collect, we're going to have a lot of grass to clear out, and we are going to eventually, I, I like this little area, but we are eventually going to move over to these savanna ports over here, this little grass, dry grass biome, and hop on the ports and, you know, head over to the next island when we're ready. But I feel like that's going to be way after Elekid's time. So speaking of Elekid, actually, before we skip the day, I am going to look through the members of the current tribe just to see where we stand in terms of other immunity genes. Because it's always good to have creatures that are not related to your, your intermediate pack in your tribe. So we have a lot of A and G. A lot of A, G, and B for what I'm seeing. We have some F, but it's mostly A, B, and G. Oh, yeah. A lot of A, B, and G. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to find some, you know, more diversified characters out here. We need some new blood up in our, our little tribe. Okay, so we're gonna skip the day, finally, after, you know, three minutes of me talking. Oh man, Elekid looks so good with the with the new gem color. It, it really cements his status and it cements it well. Okay, um, okay, let's let's take care of. Oh no, we should probably take care of them last because, uh, just in case, eh, just in case of leeches, they'll be able to handle it. Okay, so we're gonna have Elekid pick off. So I was just talking about new blood, and <laughs> here she comes. Um, oh goodness though, her fertility is not good, and she has hemophilia, which is something that you don't like to see. Oh look, and melanism. That's funky. Didn't we have one of the... One of the kids has melanism. Yeah, Luxray does. Luxray has melanism in his inactives. See... The good thing about uh, the majority of our tribe is that they do have normal blood clotting. So while I don't really want hemophiliac creatures, 
she's gonna be so worth it to have in the long run. Yeah, the sticky tongue. Uh, she's got webbed hind legs. Boo! That kind of sucks. Okay, so her fertility is garbage. I'm gonna see if we can't get her and Ellie kid together. Because you know what? She has two different immunity genes that we don't have a lot of in this tribe. And you know what? Her, her overall looks are pretty good. She doesn't have a lot wrong with her. So we're gonna have... We're gonna have Growlithe welcome her in, because you know what? We need some better creatures in our tribe already. Um, do any of you have an attack skill? That's that's also something that we're lacking on. We have nobody who can like actually attack stuff, which is always concerning to me. Because in the case of us having like Baryinas start to come out of the woodwork, like what you saw on the last island before we left. If we have Baryinas that are starting to come out of the woodwork, it's not going to look good for us in the long run. Because there's going to be no one who can successfully attack anything. So we're having Banana clear out more berries. Because, you know, we always need to be eaten around here. Frappe is going to do the same. She's going to clear out some grass. We're going to have Simba. Wow, he cleared that berry bush so fast. So we're going to have Simba clear out some grass as well. Um, we're having Growlithe clear out grass. Everybody is going to clear out grass, basically. That's the majority of this game, but that's okay. So lots of clearing grass for everybody. Um, what is this? Oh, many islands are now visible on the northern horizon. Yeah. Yup. I'm excited about that. Anyways. So we're gonna move over to our our alpha male, Elikid and Liana. That's such a lovely name for her, actually. So I don't think I'm gonna change it. Oh, it's uh, Oh, it's Lenana. You know what? That's fine. We'll keep her as Lenana. It it doesn't matter. It is a really nice name for her, though. Okay. Um, okay. What we're gonna do for... Oh, she and Ellie could both have short-sighted eyes and they're inactives, which makes me upsetty, as well as the hind legs, or as well as the, the webbed feet. So we're going to want normal eyes, as per usual. We love our normal eyes in this family. Um, normal eyes, and then normal legs. You know what? We'll put normal legs in hers, because, you know, it's, it's a thing. I don't know. Yeah, runner leg. Or no, whoo, I almost messed that up badly. Hind leg. Okay. And, you know what? I want to do something funky. If, if these two actually have a good chance of... Like, if these two actually can have kids together... I want, I want some cosmetic stuff. So, you know, looks for our creatures that are going to be better. What kind of pattern do you have? You just have no pattern at all. And then Elikid has uh, dots currently, but he has stripes in the inactive. So you know what? We're going to go with some stripes. We're going to put some stripes in there. And for Lenana... She has blue eyes in her inactives. Elikid has black eyes, like no matter what. So we're 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 actually gonna we're actually gonna sneak those those little blue eyes into the inactives and see if that won't do anything. Okay. So now um, I'm just gonna have them breed and. See Are you? You're joking me, right? For her low fertility, that was very fast. So we are seeing the birth of the new, the new, the new generation, pretty much. And hopefully, if we're really lucky, we'll get, we'll start getting more of that home island immunity passed around, which would be amazing. Because, you know, we need our, we need our heirs, especially from Ellicott, to have the, uh, the home island immunity gene. Why did I snap there? Um... 
Also, let me go take care of these two before stuff starts happening. <laughs> hi, Rusty. Hi, Peaches. Peach. Little Peach. Okay, let's go swimming. Can you fish? Can none of my kids fish, either? None of them can fish! They can collect food underwater, though, which I guess is nice. Okay, so now that they're doing- they're done doing that, we are going to zoom right in on Lenana for our first babies from Elikid. I'm so happy that she actually stumbled into the pack. They're- she and Elikid are pretty much the same age as well, which is always a good thing to see. Okay, so we're gonna skip the day. It would be really cool if we continued the twins trend as well. Because Elikid himself was a twin uh, with Growlithe. And I also want to continue the Pokemon names for their kids. Even though they might not, like, come out as recognizable Pokemon. Yo! This little guy is actually really cool! He has the, um, the webbed hind legs, which kind of sucks, but you know what? That's okay. Um, he has an attack skill, which is good. He came out with the poison fangs, which is also good. We can never have enough poison fangs. I love poison fangs on the creatures. Because it's also a good form of defense. So, okay. Um, he has I and B immunity genes. Which is nice. He has melanism in his inactives. Water body in his inactives. A lot of the a lot of the clan has water body in their inactives as well, which I find very funny. Okay, well that's some new it's something new, which is good. It's something new. Um What's a good Pokemon to name you after? How about, how about Mudbray? I love Mudbray. Mudbray is a decent Pokemon. Okay, so we have Mudbray. The first kid of Elikid and Leona. And you know what? Leona is pretty much going to be... Wow! Her fertility is not getting in the way of anything at all. Which is very surprising to me. Because I would think... I would really think that she would be having problems left and right with this. Um, I'm going to move Banana further back. I'm actually going to move Elikid up on the stump. So that way he can survey everything a little bit better. Um, and then we're going to have... I think I'm going to have Growlithe and Banana kind of move off together and go explore. Frappe can breathe underwater... But I don't know if I want to send her out. I don't know if I want to send her out into the water. Um, I could, though. Okay, I think Frappe and Cheeto are going to actually go explore this side of the island together as siblings. As siblings do. So... Simba's gonna be babysitter for right now. And then Frappe, you follow your brother. Uh, I'm gonna leave her with one turn just in case of leeches. Because leeches suck, man. Um, Luxray... Actually, I'm gonna have Luxray try and skirt the outer edges of the swamp. It's a very small swamp, but like... I'd, I'd rather him, like, kind of scout stuff out and be careful about it. Oh, I see the leech notifications. I see it. Is it just you two? It is. Okay. Good. I kind of expected that. That's why I leave them out here for last, is because I know that there's stuff going on. Um, what, what immunity genes do you guys have? Ooh, A and, A, A and G and B. B and G. Okay. You know what? Um, I'm gonna actually scoot P 
Peach and Rusty back towards the rest of the clan because uh, Peach has some useful genetics. A and G. A and F. F and I, which I know is good. B and A. Is there anybody with something that isn't... You know what? I like it might have multiple partners as well. Because I want more kids. Ooh, G and A. Oh, no, B and G. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna also breed Peach to Elekid for a little bit of, you know, extra safety. Because I really want more kids with Home Island immunity. We need them. We need them badly. Um, and you know what? Peach and, Peach and Elekid's kids would actually look pretty cool, so... I want to try it just to just to see how it would go and I'm also gonna shuffle frappe over a little bit okay so the first heir here he's not even the heir um, I have to wait to see if any of his siblings are gonna be born with the home island immunity gene but um, at least Elikid's genes will be shared through two partners which, you know, isn't the, um, it isn't the best thing to happen when you have, like, all of the same immunity genes because you've only had a few, like, partners out there. But, you know, because, like, Don Roku had A and D, but, and Lucerta had F and I. I probably should have kept Lucerta when we moved to the new island just because of the diversity in genes. Because that's actually what uh, Lenana has. Lenana has F and I. Okay. Um, skip the day. We're going to have Mudbray toddle out of the nest under his uncle's watchful gaze. Um, Simba is going to try to paw up some roots while he looks after his nephew. Nephew? He's the only kid of Lucerta and Banana. Is... No, it's not his nephew, but, you know, it's okay. They still act like nephews. Or he still acts like an uncle, probably. So, I, I, yeah, I could definitely see Simba- Wow! Two nests! Hello. That's fortunate. I like that. Um. No, but I can see Simba being more of a, a very protective, you know, like, older brother-esque member of the family. Because, I mean, he left his sister behind. He left Cherry behind on the other island. So, but I, I, I always feel like he's had, like, such a good sense of caring for the younger ones in the family. Um. Banana. Oh, gosh. Is Banana. Banana's on her last day. This is legal. Stop. All my kids are dying. <laughs> um. I'm gonna have Growlithe attack that mole. Ella kid, you're gonna clear out some grass, pick some berries. Lenana's gonna do the same. She's gonna try to paw at the ground once and then come and sit in her nest. Uh, Cheeto, we're gonna have Cheeto clear out the, uh, the grass over here and then move forward with Frappe just to kind of scout the area. And again, just, just see what's out there. Pick up some clams on the way. Just, you know, look out for each other. And in the meantime, Peach is going to start rapid fire scooting her way up towards where Elekid is at. Oh, gosh. I really hope she doesn't get hit by the coconut. That would be really unfortunate, especially for right now. Because she is... Yeah, Rusty is the next one to go, and then she is the next one to go after him. Um. Gosh. She's the last of... Yeah. Peach is the last of Adam and Eve's kids. Of the original six. The OG6, which is 
a little ten it, it's a little bittersweet actually to see most of these kids go please don't get hit with the coconut uh oh oh gosh oh my game oh <laughs> my tiny little heart could not take that oops okay so she didn't get hit by the coconut but mud braid did which means that knocked him out of a turn pretty much so he lost all of his energy for the day and got injured which sucks um but at least it wasn't i just want to say at least it wasn't peach so i'm gonna have peach scoot her way actually i'm just gonna have her scoot into a nest um Growlithe is going to kill this mole and get food. Goodbye, banana, you sweet child. I loved you. Um, Elekid is going to scoot down. Uh, let's see. What's in the inactives? That sucks. Short-sighted eyes for both of them. I already have the eyes fixed in Elekid's menu. And Peach has nothing. So the fun thing is, is that we can work with genetics again with Peach. We can pop in another something random. Um, oh no, wait, the frog legs. Never mind. I was like, oh, we could do something cool. No, we can't. <laughs> okay, but they've been bred, which is good. Um, I'm going to have Ella Kid grab this food. Uh, da, 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 da. Simba's going to do the same. He's going to collect food. And now that Mudbray has his second gem, he can kind of scooch away from the tree. And I'm going to have Rusty go back to doing what Rusty does best, which is going through his uh, clearing grass. Going through his grass. Now, I don't think Rusty's had any kids either, but he has... There's there's really nobody on the island that he can breed with right now. So, if worse, if worse does come to worse, which, you know, he probably won't be getting a mate is the thing. Um, I've already taken care of Luxray. I've taken care of the majority of the clan so far. Cheeto, do you have an attack skill? No. Your sister does, though. Frappe does. We're gonna have him scoot up here. I actually want him to check and see what's out here. Just, you know, just to take extra precautions about things. There's not a lot going on, which is good. And now we get to zoom down here to see what horror of a child this is. <laughs> he has the... He has the sticky tongue, which is good for, um, bug collecting. So basically he has a high collection skill, he has an attack stat, he has, he has a bug collecting skill. Oh goodness, you are, you are just a sight to behold, my child. Now watch him, watch him have the home island immunity and him be an heir. No, no, high, no home island immunity from this one either. You know, a little disappointing, but expected. Now, for this kid, I'm going to name him Flareon, because that is the only thing that came to my mind when he was born, is that I, I saw him out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, that's a Flareon. That's like the ultimate evolution. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind. I changed my mind. He's going to be Heatmore, because Heatmore is, like, legitimately a fire Pokemon that has, uh... The sticky tongue like that. Now maybe Ella Kid and Peach's kid can be uh, Flareon. Either that or I'll, I'll go with like mango or something kind of fruity. Anyways, so let's skip the turn again and welcome in the next baby. Or babies. <laughs> Mudbray, stop getting bonked! Your poor little lifespan, please, my heart. Okay, um, I gotta find a way to maneuver the baby. Um. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. Ella Kid's gonna come over. 
Okay, the one time that her fertility isn't working. Okay, there we go. Okay, we scooted Heatmore over, and we scooted Le Lenana over just in time. Okay. Simba, pick berries. Come over here. Pick more berries because nobody did the berry duty. Oh, that is a, um, that's a peaceful bear. Hello, sir. We are going to just gather, um, materials here. Sorry for bugging you. Um, <laughs> I don't know what these snails are, and I don't know what they do, but I'm kind of concerned about them. Um, Luxray... I'm gonna move him into the brush a little bit. Like, not too far, but just far enough where he's able to scout. Literally, we have a lot of our creatures being scouts right now, and I don't mind that at all, actually. I, I like having a clear idea of what is going on with my creatures, and, you know, if there's any danger and stuff lurking in the background. Okay. So with this new baby, we get to see what she does. Also no attacking skill. She looks like a little lemon. I might just name her Lemon. She looks a lot like, um... Actually, she doesn't look a lot like anybody. She, she's just kind of vibing. Um, do you have the gene? No, G and B. Darn, unfortunate. Okay, um... <sighs> okay, can she make it over there? She can. Cool. We've just got babies coming out left and right from Ellicate, and honestly, I don't mind that. Because, like I said, we need to have that home island immunity. I'm tired of panicking about the home island immunity and us not having enough of it in the tribe. So, the good thing is, is that we have a lot of food and we're able to support a lot of creatures right now. And with Rusty... Rusty's dying! Ah! Yeah, Rusty's on on his way out so is peach and their kids will be the ones to you know take take the the reins after they're gone goodbye rusty my sweet child you will be missed gosh man things happen so fast in this game mud bray this kid is gonna spend half of his life underneath this darn tree just getting hit i feel so bad Okay, Peach, come over here, move, oh, move Lemon, I gotta rename her, oopsie. Yeah, move Lemon, move Lemon over, and then come sit down, try to paw at the ground. Simba's gathering berries and watching over the kids. Um... Heatmore. Heatmore is gonna come move into the grass with Growlithe because I feel like these two are gonna make like an unstoppable team. Like the two of them are just gonna like gang up together and be like, yeah. How fun. I love that for them. Um, Elikid, come move over. Liana, you're gonna come over here and then pick some berries and then... Relicid, you're going to do the same with your remaining turns. Okay, we have a little boy. Okay, see, he can be Flareon. He can be Flareon. And I, I just saw it when I went to go name him. He has the home island immunity! Pog! Okay, so Flareon, when he gets his first gem... He will also carry the mark that his father does. So far, I've noticed that the home island immunity gene has all been passed to the boys. There's been no girls so far that have the, the home island immunity gene. And I wonder if that just says something about the nature of how the gene works if it only passes down towards the males. Um, I haven't seen... Anything that, like, disproves that theory in the in my time of both watching and playing the game. Um, 
I haven't played through a whole lot of, like, story mode in my, my, like, free time. So, I've, I've never, like, really gone far, far in exploring the overall, uh, genetics and the way things work with this game. Okay, so... We are going to skip the day again. We are going to see Peach's next baby. Another little girl. She looks strangely like, um, like her sister. Which I find funny. Um, I don't know what, what a good name for her would be. Okay, Lenana... Grab some berries and then come sit down, baby. Okay, Ella Kid's gonna pick some berries and then I think he's gonna yell. He's gonna see if there's any, there's gonna be any new creatures out there that, ooh, <gasps> that's a termite mound. Ooh, we can move heat more over to where Luxray is and see if, um, he can't find some... Or if he can't, like, get the the bugs. Yeah, that'd be neat. That'd be real nifty. Okay. Uh, ooh, new berry bush for Simba. That's nice. Uh, what do we name the newest little one? Uh, da 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 da. Oh, I, I even need to see if she has the gene. She doesn't have the gene either. Yeah, none of the none of the girls have the gene, it seems. Um I'm gonna name you Citrus. Cause again, there doesn't seem to be any Huh. That's so weird that there's like no There's no chance of it passing down to the girls. Um, oh, and it's Peach's last day alive? Shoot. Okay. Oh, we had a good run with, with Peach, though. The last of Adam and Eve's kids. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for your time and your service. You will be missed. Okay, look, um, Mudbray has finally been undone from his his spell of being stuck under that tree. Oh gosh, buddy, it did a it did a number on your lifetime. I'm so sorry. Hey. Oh, I put him right back under the tree. I. That was probably a bad decision on my part. Okay, we're gonna have Flareon collect some berries, and we are going to award him with his new gem color. We are going to have Elikid collect... No. We're gonna have uh, Lenana move out of the nest. Okay. Things are actually going really well right now. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!